Hi, welcome to Power Learn Science and Mass TV. If you are new on this channel, I warmly welcome you. And if you are looking for a channel that gives you the guidelines or the strategies needed to solve chemistry, physics, and general mathematics related problems, then this channel is the right one for you. And so, I will be glad if you subscribe to this channel and kindly visit my previous videos, watch, like them, recommend them, and give a comment. I also want to say a very big thank you to my subscribers and returning viewers. Thank you for bringing me this far. Now, in this video, we want to solve for the value of log into bracket 10 plus 3 root 10 bracket close plus log into bracket 10 plus overall root of 90 plus root of 90 bracket close plus log into bracket 10 minus overall root of 90 plus root of 90 all bracket close now let me be quick to add that we are solving for the value of this without the use of calculator but it is important to also know that punching this on the calculator gives a value of 1. So the aim of this video is to teach you how to solve this or to give you the guidelines or strategies in arriving at this answer. So let's get into it. But before that, I'll be glad if you pause the video and try your hands on this. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea for you to try your hands on this. Then you compare your answer to the solution. So let's get into it. Now, if you take a look at this problem, you realize that it is an addition of logarithms, addition of logarithms. And so we have to apply one of the properties of logarithm specifically the addition property of logarithm now the addition property of logarithm states that if we have log a plus log b plus log c the law states that this is the same as log of a times b times c which is the same as log a b c so what it means is that we are going to apply this property in solving this particular problem where in this case our a stands for the 10 plus 3 root 10 then our b is the 10 plus overall root of 90 plus root of 90 then the c represented by 10 minus overall root of 90 plus root of 90. So let's go ahead and apply the law. So I can say that this whole thing here is the same as log, open a parenthesis, I'm going to multiply this three going to multiply these three so that'll be multiplied by 10 plus 3 root 10 multiplied by 10 plus overall root of 90 plus root of 90 multiplying 10 minus overall root of 90 plus root of 90 now if you if you take a look at anyway let me close the parenthesis if you take a look at these two multiplications it represents difference of two squares it is actually the expansion of difference of two squares now if you remember difference of two squares says that if we have a squared minus b squared this is the same as a plus b multiplied by a minus b 
it could be the other way around because multiplication is commutative now what this means is that what you have here can be written as a squared minus b squared and a squared minus b squared can also be written as a plus b multiplied by a minus b so if you compare a plus b multiplied by a minus b that is exactly what you have here because we have difference in the operations this is positive and this is negative and that is exactly what we have here so in this case our a becomes 10 and our b becomes the overall root of 90 plus root of 90 so let's let's apply that and see so this two is the same as what i'm coming to write here so um the a so let me write 10 plus root of 90 plus root of 90 multiplying 10 minus overall root of 90 plus root of 90 this is the same as the a is 10 so a squared which is 10 squared minus into bracket the b is overall root of 90 plus root of 90 everything here squared and this gives 10 squared is 100 so 100 minus the square cancels the overall root so we'll be left with into bracket 90 plus root of 90. now this is the same as 100 minus let me open a parenthesis 90. now i'm going to break root of 90 down root of 90 is the same as root of 9 times 10 and this is the same as 100 minus into bracket 90 plus square root of 9 times square root of 10 that is applying the property of said now let me continue here so this gives 100 minus into bracket 90 plus root of 9 is 3 and 3 times root of 10 is 3 root 10 so this gives 3 root 10 and so this gives us 100 minus expanding the bracket 90 minus 3 root 10 and so 100 minus 90 is 10 so 10 minus 3 root 10 so what it means is that the simplification of these two multiplication yields 10 minus 3 root 10 so i'm going to replace that therefore this equation now becomes log of 10 plus 3 root 10 multiplying 10 minus 3 root 10 once again if you take a look if you take a look at these two multiplication is it represents difference of two squares and so what it means is that once again this becomes our a but this around our b becomes the 3 root 10 so doing that gives us log into bracket now i'm going to apply a square minus b square here so a is 10 so 10 squared minus into bracket this is a b 3 root 10 so 3 root 10 squared so this gives us log into bracket 100 minus in this particular situation the square affects the 3 
and also affects the root sign now 3 square gives us 9 times the square affects this it gives us 10 so what this means is that we'll get log into bracket 100 minus 90 now 100 minus 90 is 10 so we are going to have log 10 now remember that in a situation where you have log where the base is not shown it means that the base is 10 so this is actually the same as log to the base of 10 of 10 and this is the same as 1 and therefore this whole expression or this whole log problem the answer is 1 thank you for watching this video and kindly leave a comment in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe to this channel once again like this video and kindly share thank you